Well, our favorite chef, Carino Cortez, from Viva Via Taqueria, is here to make torta mexicana in honor, I, of course, <laughs> of this huge celebration today. Yes. And um, <clears throat> I think he might need tequila to wash that down. Tequila yeah, would be good, would right? Okay, I don't know. I couldn't do it with the mayo. That was, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So let's start with this torta. Yeah. So we're making a torta. So that was one of the best influences we got from the French, you know, on Mexican food, mm -hmm. this nice French bread. So we start, we bought these from, you know, the Mexican grocery store, HEB. You can get them at a lot of places. But we're going to top them with all these different toppings. So you're going to actually make a Mexican slaw. Okay. And you start with just a cabbage that's thinly sliced, and you're going to let it marinate with some lime. So squeeze all these? Yep. Go ahead and squeeze like about maybe five or six of those. Depends how limey you like it. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> I'll tell you what not to squeeze. <laughs> Into your mouth. That is not the meaning of Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> so while you're doing that slaw, and you're going to be adding a little radish, a little red onion. I He's going to be making the salsa over here. I know here. what's getting ready to happen. Right? <laughs> okay. Is this first? Is yeah, this, go yeah, ahead. Go put ahead. the avocado in there. Avocado. Kind of like scoop it out. Like oh, yeah. Big chunks. Uh, you have people that do this for you at your place, but I do. I do I have just, a number of oh, talented yeah. cooks who do all that. <laughs> and you're open 24 hours a day, right? Yeah, me Tierra never <laughs> closes. It's crazy. And we're actually having happy hour all day at Mariachi Bar at La Margarita, so you can go get your tequila shot there to wash down your mayo. Bolivia <laughs> and Pico de Gallo. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever Wait, heard someone that. got into this. Has there, uh, Chihuahua's been eating over here. What I don't know. Those Chihuahuas are around here. <laughs> yeah, they were, they were dancing. They were racing. They wanted <laughs> to get here. Maybe they can race our little they baby can race pinatas. The pinatas. <laughs> so while this is toasting, all that's looking really good. So I do a little more on the onions? Yeah, you can do more limes. And then more we'll add, limes, yes. Okay, we'll I'm add in. some salt in there. So how long would this take to make at home? Usually, I, you can let this marinate for a while, for 30 minutes. So you can get that going whenever you have time and use it whenever you're ready. And then this, yeah, you mash it up. It's like a chunky guacamole almost over here. You're going to throw in some cilantro, a little red onion, some jalapeno. Perfect. I'm going to throw some salt in yours too. Nice. <laughs> This is going to be great. Oh, right? This is going to taste a lot better than And this is going to be else. on the menu there, right? Yes, this is going to be on the menu. So we've got it as a lunch special, and it's really good. I actually put this uh, beef over here in a slow cooker, so that's another thing you can make ahead of time. Mm. It's shoulder clawed and a little onion, chipotle, tomato, can, crushed canned tomatoes. You let it cook until it's, like, perfectly nice and shredded. And how, do you like to, how do you like to cut your holiday? Happy Pinos. You can cut them in little half moons. Yeah, there you go. We leave the seeds in. That makes it, it really hot. Yeah, we makes it really hot. Do, yeah, how do you like it? I like it really hot, but I'll add some hot sauce or something like that. That's there, good. There you go. We'll just get some slices Perfect. on it. Perfect. Over there. Okay, there you go. Nice. All done over there. Might need a little help over here. Oh, you got See, you there. like that cilantro. <laughs> So with this, I'm actually going to hand you one of these over here. And you're going to go ahead and layer some beans on the bottom. And tortas are good because you can put whatever you want. So if you want meat, vegetables, cheese, beans, avocado, it's really whatever you're into. Now, you mentioned some of your specials earlier, but are there any more? Um, so we've got the happy hour all day. So mm -hmm. we've got happy hour food all day at all the restaurants. And this special and... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> And then also so in Market Square, the there's the whole right? festival going on this weekend. Oh, so yeah. we've got, they bring out all the food vendors and all the music and people are singing. Perfect. <laughs> and then we're going to put this on next. I don't know if we'll have salsa ready in time, but... <laughs> hey, hey, look, you know what? The, uh, the salsa's ready. Salsa's ready? Look, yes, Okay, good. We can put some of that on there. Is that the way you like it? That looks there good. Go. That looks really good, actually. I'm going to put it on the top red. Hold on. Put that on Standing there. by. Nice. Mm. There you go. Boy, this looks delicious. And you would obviously pair it this with so a large vat of tequila. I'm going to put a little bit of that slaw in here. Oh, don't leave me behind. A little behind. bit more. Yeah, you got it covered. I mean, you know. Put look that at on that. top of there. And then that's what we Oh, uh, look at that. And there this it is. is a true torta. Yes, absolutely. Which is the combination of French and French Mexican, and Mexican cultures together. Best of two worlds. <laughs> Am I allowed to eat this now? Yes, you are. No, you need no, to way better than mayo. mayo. Oh, and the bread is warm. This is unbelievable. <laughs> this is happening at your place all the way through the weekend, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. For more information, of course, and the complete recipe, 
and uh, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.